It's Wednesday. It's time for our weekly trip to the news. Neil Anderson joins us live from Swamico this morning. Good morning, Neil. Well, good morning, guys. Uh, we were out earlier with the swan signets, and we had a chance to visit with the lynx kittens. And now we moved into the surgery room. And with me is Dr. Tracy Gilbert. And actually, right now, what we're doing is we're going through uh, basically the annual physicals uh, for the cotton top tamarins. And, and Doc, what do we have going right now? Well, we have Bonnie here. She's just going under anesthesia. Uh, she's going to get a complete physical exam. She needs her vaccinations and some blood work. And then she's also going to get a birth control implant while she's sleeping. We don't want she's any more monkeys? She's about 10 years old. <laughs> Pardon me? <laughs> don't want mo any more tamarins, I guess? Well, we have just enough room for two right now. Okay. And How's these tamarins are, you know, they're, they're, they're part of an endangered species uh, program. Okay. And what we do is we get uh, recommendations whether, you know, they, they're to breed or not. Uh, and in this case, you know, one of the recommendations was to go ahead and uh, put an implant in at this particular point in time. Uh, they're on exhibit yeah, out on our northern trail. You get a, a chance to see that. But you can see now um, what we're doing right now is looking for a transponder, and that's an ID. Uh, that goes uh, okay. really underneath the skin so that we can make sure that uh, we're working on the right animal. And um, each one has uh, some of the uh, primates are also tattooed as well. Interesting. Now, how long does that transponder last? Do you have to replace it? They generally last the lifetime of the animal. Interesting. Now, it, I saw it, it had some sharp teeth, so obviously you want to kind of keep it in a, a little asleep state while you, uh, while you look at them. It's, it's better for us, but it's also better for her. These animals are stressed by being handled, and so we try to minimize that, and the, the sedatives sort of help them relax through the whole procedure, sort of like when we go in for routine procedures. So uh, how's this Tamarind looking? She looks very good for a little 10-year-old girl. Her hair coat's in good shape. Her weight is good. Her teeth look pretty good. These guys are prone to dental problems, just like we are, because they don't tend to brush and floss their teeth the way they should. And but being, her ten color years is good. being 10 years old, is, is that old for a tamarin? No, that's not terribly old for a tamarin. She's probably in early middle age. Early middle. How long can they usually average uh, lifespan in, in ca captivity? We're about 25. Oh, okay. Yeah, about 25. Uh, you know, like I said, they're native uh, to Columbia, and there's only about, oh, roughly about 1,800 uh, from a population standpoint in the world. Uh, like I said, the zoos have, uh, have a, what we call an SSP plan uh, that we're working with uh, a, a lot of other zoos to make sure that we have a, a population uh, that we could look at uh, reintroduction back in the wild. And of course, there has, zoos have been involved with the reintroduction efforts uh, down in, in Columbia. Uh, our particular pair that we have um, basically are here for educational display. And it's a great opportunity for our visitors to be able to, to see, you know, this, this small endangered uh, primate, the New World primate, and also to learn a little bit about the conservation efforts as well. And, of course, uh, like I say, right now, uh, every year we go through uh, an annual uh, checkup with these guys, and they also get, then, Doc, they also get TB tested. Is that correct? Usually they get TB tested, and she's actually going to be ultrasounded as well while she's sleeping. Make sure the innards are all good, too. Well, thank you, Tammy That's and Neil, <laughs> for joining us. We really appreciate that. And uh, I assume, Neil, that uh, the tamarind will be up and uh, about uh, fairly soon after the anesthesia wears off? She'll probably be up on her feet probably within the hour. Within the hour. So you can still see them later on today once they uh, get all That's their That's right. Shots. Good. Hey, thank you all for joining us.